Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing very well. Anyway, today I'm gonna make a content, a video tutorial on MATLAB. What is MATLAB? I think you already know MATLAB is a tool or software by which uh, we can solve various problems in real world like mathematical solution as well as image processing and etc etc. But in my concern, I will be going by MS processing tutorials because I'm researching on MS processing and I would like to follow the help center provided by their official website which is mathworks.com and inside the help center I uh, found MS processing toolbox and there are a lot of guidelines so we will follow their guidelines on after on. So let's start through the get started section. And inside that section, there are a few processes. Okay, so we would follow them all on after on. So let's see the basic image input processing and export section. And there are a few steps like step one, step two, step three, and step step 4 step 5 these are nothing just we would like to read an image from our hardware or from our graphics folder and then we would display that image after that we would see that how these images really appearing on our workspace and then we will improve that image through adding contrast and then we will see histogram after that we would see that image again and this is the updated images histogram okay and then we will write an image into our machine i mean into our folder okay or we can call it like we would save a new image into our folder and then we would see the properties of a particular image well so without further ado let's start the coding we will see everything practically. For doing so, I have opened my MATLAB software and now I will create a folder here. Okay, inside the all, I will create a new folder. I'm giving a name called MATLAB Tutorial. Well, let's let's move into that folder and inside that folder uh, we will create a file a script file because we're gonna write script or we're gonna write coding here so we will create a script file and the extension must be dot m and this is lecture on okay press enter or return anyway so we have created a dot m file and opened it on editor now uh, let's create another folder inside matlab tutorials sorry my mistake maybe i have took let's delete it we'll take a folder not a script this is images okay and let's see what is inside the images folder there is nothing so we will copy and paste an image here for doing so let's move to the folder so i'm going to the matlab tutorials folder and inside that images folder i would paste an image but in my computer and my macbook pro i don't have any images yet let's see well So I have placed an image of me. I just found it from Facebook. Anyway, so let's move to the last MATLAB. And then inside the images folder, uh, we see an image called me.jpeg. So first thing first, we would read this image. So we would take a variable 
variable is nothing just a placeholder where we can store few logical things so taking this concern we are storing an image right so i am read this is a function as you can see the fx icon so this is a function and this function reads image from graphics file okay so we're gonna use this function and inside this function we need to give a image name so in this concern we need to give me.jpg but this is inside a folder called images right images slash me dot jpeg to the semicolon we are just closing the comment or the line and now we need to show this picture or we need to display this picture how can it do so i am show is a function that displays image and we're gonna use that on here and inside the function we will just place the i variable well now run this well this is the actual image inside the figure on we can write figure here create figure window okay if we run again we would see this is the good practice to open up any image with a new image window okay now let's let's do something new like we need to see we want to see that how this image appears into our workspace so we need to see those information how can you do so whose is a function that produce a list variables in workspace with size and types so we're gonna use this function and inside this function we're gonna use our but this is directly a comment we can use something like this and if we run it again we would see the basic information here as you can see the name size the name means the variable the i variable size is given here this is the image size and 3 means RGB. This is a color image and the bytes and class. Okay. If we place that like this way, this would also work fine or not? No. Well, now we would improve this image through adding some contrast. But before doing that, we need to see the histogram. Now, how can we see the histogram? Like I am hist. I am hist is a function what produces histogram of image data. Okay. And inside that function, we would simply place the i variable. Okay. And now we are enclosing this through semicolon. If we run it, well, we would see the histogram is here, but it is appearing in the same window. First, we saw this image, I mean our original image, then we saw the histogram image, but inside the same window. Why? Because we didn't mention any new figure here. What figure does? Actually, this creates figure window now we will see two different figure window see this is figure one this is figure two i think you understood the basic difference of this figure comment well uh now let's add some uh contrast to this image how can i do so his tag is a new function what enhances contrast into our image using histogram equalization so basically this is a function what really increase the contrast of our image so we are going to use that function and inside that function i'm gonna place the i variable 
which is containing our initial image like v.jpeg so we just put the semicolon here now we want to tag it in a variable so i2 is our new variable which contains a new image that is updated by adding some contrast now let's open it but before that we we'll use the figure command to open a new figure window and then i am show to display an image and inside the function i'm gonna place the i2 now let's run it again we will see three different figure well this is first image right and this histogram is formed through this image and after adding the contrast this is the third image or updated image now we would see the histogram of this image how can we do so so that we can compare the both histograms so let's do that simply we would see the histogram in a new figure so we'd call figure again and we didn't and we don't need to put the semicolon here but if you want to see new things like i am hist to see the histogram of image 2 and an updated image then we need to use the semicolon so we would see four figures one for here the second one for this one third for the new image and fourth on the new histogram let's see well so this is all the images display well this is the first figure which is containing our original image and that's histogram is given here and the third image i mean third figure shows the updated image what contains few new contrast and this histogram is really about this image so you can see the basic difference from those two different histograms right yeah pretty interesting right we can do a lot of real life solution on last thing we would do that we would save this image i mean the updated image into our stories how can i do so what we need to do is to write this image into our hardware or into our storage for doing so we need to write i am right write image to graphics file okay and inside that function we need to place the variable what contains our updated image and we will give a name that must be in a string forms uh, and this is my updated image okay my updated image dot we would save it as png format okay and after giving the semicolon i'm just closing it off so let's run it again so that we can see a new image here let's run it well so we have saved this image into our root folder my updated image but we need to save it into our images folder for doing so we would do a little bit changes in our coding like image yes images folder that's it so let's remove it from this place let's delete it and i'm running it again well and inside this images folder i will check it yes that my updated image dot png is created or is written into my storage pretty interesting right on last thing i would do here that we would know all the details about the updated image how can i do so i am a info is a new function what produces information about graphics file 
So inside that function, we're gonna use the image name. Inside this function, we cannot use variable name. We need to use image name. So see, we have placed our image name here and then we will run it we would see only four pictures but where is the information actually uh, I found it error here well actually this file cannot be opened why because the path is not accurate we need to place an accurate path okay now this should work fine let's add a variable here like info and then and then run it again so all the images are shown here and if i just press info and press enter or return we would see all the basic details about our picture like file size format width and height and yeah the depth big depth everything the color type is true color and we can see the data by typing here like info dot width we need to take it in a variable like img width okay and now we will just run it again And let's see the width of that image see the width and I will check it whether the actual information is same or not yes 1536 and 1536 so that is the basic operation of an image and we must need this kind of things for any kind of solutions I think we have learned a few things and we will move for the next phase very shortly. Thanks for watching this video, stay with me and don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel. Have a good time, bye bye.